Hey there, this is Kim Schwa. I'm a senior product manager for Einstein Analytics, and I'm going to walk you through what's new for charts in Spring 18. We actually added a lot of improvements into Explorer and how you actually visualize and control your data. As you can see on the left, there's no more measure and grouping, but rather buckets so that you can really control how you visualize your data. See here, you have a kind of row for the horizontal axis, and I could easily add a stage to be my vertical axis. And if you go to the right, you see here a couple of items you know from before, for example, the suggested charts. I could switch here, for example, to a funnel. And you see on the left, all my buckets evolve. I'm not talking about axis anymore, but about segment and their size and what I'm segmenting by. Same with slices. And I don't know if you noticed the smooth transition from one chart to another, which is called chart morphing that we actually introduced back this release where you can actually have a smooth transition from one to another. For the horizontal dot plots, I'm talking about axis, but I'm also talking about bubble, right? So I can control and say, actually, I want to show this uh, bubble size. And we even surface some of the features that might be hidden before. So trellis, for example, is a great feature, but it was somewhat hard to find. Now you can actually choose to say, I want to actually trellis across a specific industry, and the charts will be replicated in two different places. If you go to the history here, you can see all my um, exploration has evolved, and I can visually see what or does it look like. I can switch back to charts. I can change and really um, do the sorting from the axis title directly. And here, we also improved on the um, date and time analysis. So when before it was supposed to be only timeline, we are actually allow you to have a time bar an hour and even and you can even do a, a time combo. Another great thing we added this release is the ability to add chart markers. See here, I can, or I can annotate part of my visualization. It's very straightforward to do. I just have to go in the property panel, edit the chart markers, and I could say here, for example, I don't want any information. I just want a custom text to show up where I'll say custom event with this amount of sales. I can open it by default, make it blink if I want to attract the um, attention. And it works across the visualization. This might remind you another feature we introduced the release before, a red tooltip, so now you can customize tooltip. Well, we improved that too, where now not only you can show the dimension and the measure, but you can even have the custom text in there, where you can have a full control, but all your data shows in there. You can even add extra measures, so I'm really excited to put that in your hands and now you're going to use all those features and I'm also excited for the next release coming up and really enabling you to get the most out of your data.